Okay, guys. <laughs> part four. Part four. I've had enough of looking at this stuff. It's Sunday afternoon at 125-ish. So I got all that to tend to. Okay. And then over here, all of that to tend to. Plus, I want to get all of this cleared away. And uh, it going to take me a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I um, shoved 90% of it back in the closet because I just needed room to move. And it ain't enough. I've had enough. We got to get this in there. It has a slight odor still, so I'm going to leave the drawers open still. But I did flip it, and I, I had it cleaned inside, cleaned all the bottoms of everything again, flipped it back over, and washed the tops of everything again. So, hopefully that's it. That, they, <laughs> no more stank, you know? <laughs> all right, so update. I got all the drawers back in. Did clean this mess up a little bit. My mess over, my mess over here is gone. And now I'm working on my planner bag and all the other shit over there. Wish me luck. Okay. Done for the night. Done. <laughs> this is how that looks. Not too bad. My daughter has been cleaning her space. She's in, uh, in college. And you know how it's like remote learning and all that, so... The poor girl is stuck in my dining room doing all that business. Over here is pretty much cleaned out. That's her scuba gear because she didn't want to leave it outside. And her small rolly chair. This is all... Where's my arm? <laughs> Going. So proud of myself. And now here at my table, back there on my high boy, is pretty much cleaned off. And now I'm sitting doing my budget and my journaling. This is it. That's all you get. <laughs> happy Monday. <laughs> Who's ever happy on a Monday? This wacko. <laughs> so, I ended with doing this last night. I wanted to show you what's in my drawers and all that because I'm nosy. I want to know what's in people's drawers, right? I still have this bag to go through, which is all 12 by 12 and a scrap of paper. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All right, stop it. <laughs> okay, so I will start over here with that bag. Okay. This is probably the easiest way, and then shove them in, right? Okay, hold on. Okay, this drawer is basically all washi style stickers. Okay, these are all other types of stickers and labels and, and stuff like that that I use. This one, obviously, we go to punch. Some sticky notes that I do use all the time. And then these are extra sticker bits. Um... Yeah, you put these on paper, so you got a three-ring sticky punch hole. All right. Whew. Hot dang. More stickers. These are more planner stickers than anything. I got that one piece of ribbon for Miss Ginger. Thank you, Ginger. I love that. Some magnets and some alphas. And then on the book, Jim, all my rulers... And then I got this situated with spare glues, my big bone folder, some adhesive pockets, and some lace, and just little string bits. Okay, next side. Okay, right on the top, my most used stamps that I go to almost all the time. Right, so that's why they're most used. Blah backgrounds, <laughs> letters, and numbers, and then my little Tim Holt distressers, 
I got a piece of contact paper, my cloth and paper extra bits, utility knife in there. Oh, I'm sorry, not a utility knife, craft knife. I got my sticker paper. These are great, guys. I stamp on them, make my own stickers, and print on them and whatever. See, like, there's a stamp image on one. And then that's extra, like, white cardstock. Some more sticker paper. And these are some of my 12 by 12s that are for this season coming up. Because it's a Catalba watercolor business a sachet to make my drawers smell lovely. And then down here we got tissue paper, vellum envelopes, some, oh, my, um, uh, Lauren Phelps Designs packaging. I'm going to cut those up and make pencil boards. Okay, hold on. Okay, and then on the top right we got tags or tag, uh, cardstocky things, um, and paper swatches and all kinds of bits and I got my this is just a thing of a of vellums that's a mess that will have to be sorted through a little bit more these are all my um my papers that I use scrapbook papers and whatnot and bits for when I'm decorating something more clear stamps that I found from my latest boxes. These are the ink pads I'm actually using. Guys, I got rid of so many ink pads. I'm so happy with myself. And then I got a couple of wax seals. I got no wax, but I got a few of those. There's one in there. I have another one sitting somewhere. Don't know. Oh, these here. I get at... Michael's and they're up front by the register and they're very inexpensive. They're like a buck or something. This has the greatest black I have ever used. And I bought like 15 of them. I'm down to uh, one unused, one used. And, oops, son of a biscuit. I also have another one in a project box up here that I'm working in. Okay, and then I found I have a whole lot more of these that I am going to have to definitely go through again because that's just disgusting. <laughs> then squirt bottles with a needle tip on the end, diamond painting but crap, some more. Um, ow, son of a biscuit. I hurt. Um, ink pads, but these are more of these distressers and stuff. Clear stamp cleaning wipes. Oh! Oh, see, I knew I had another one. That baby goes up there. And, oh, no, I fed to you. See? I got some more of them. Love those. My clear stamping blocks are here. They're probably going to go up top in that other drawer. Down here is my washies and my washi sample book because it's precious. <laughs> and then on top, I've got all my uh, different style papers that I get in those books that I tear apart, these here, um, and some other little bits. These are all notebooks that are unused. I got moleskins and field notes and I don't know. Yeah, I have all them. Dictionaries and a thesaurus that I tear apart. These are spare personal size dashboards, uh, weeks, and a couple of notebooks and notepads that are the wrong size. It's a glue. Oh, this is this year's Jibun Techo that her cover that's gonna be housed in when it's done. And some other crafty inserts. And this is the project box that I'm working in. This is my 
expensive pen that cost me $175. That's its box. These are clear stamps that have dates, days of the week, numbers, months, all that jazz in there. And these are my little paper bits for my journaling that I reach to all the time and I don't want them to get lost in a drawer. This is a planner I'm probably going to give away. I've had it for a couple of years. It's undated. I don't know why I bought it just because I don't know. Coloring book that I'm actually coloring. My crystal Bible that I am referencing all the time. Paper cutter. Okay. And then, I think today, I am going to go through all my old planners. That's my planner bag, my daughter's fish tank. This is her packaging stuff. Planner bag is empty. Um, she went through all of her um, epoxy stuff, and I, she used my old cart for that and her epoxy, and this is her school and Poshmark stuff. Her desk is still a hot mess, but she's doing good there. That table is good. Underneath here, I house all my um, unused or very rarely used and grabbed for leather TNs. These are photo boxes with photos in them, actually. And then my table. Yeah. This is my daughter's stuff. This is how she comes in the house and just drops stuff, so I haven't gotten to that yet. Uh, Miss Cindy Gunter Gobaldo going on over there, her love. I love Cindy. She's just like me. She just blah, 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 diarrhea. I love it. She's a little more professional than I am, but <laughs> I love her. I've been watching her for a few years. Um, so that's where I'm at with that. I think I'm going to just upload this video now and probably do a part five because I have still yet to touch colored pencils and markers and all that jazz I can't think right now but I got coloring books and all kinds of other shit my laminator is not out excuse me and I don't know what I'm doing with all the donating stuff yet I'm gonna get to that I'm so proud of myself with how far I've gotten um, it's definitely a bigger job than I thought it was going to be because normally it would take me a whole day to just beat this crap right out and get it done. But ailments slow you down, you know, and that's probably a grand thing because I would have overdone. Shoulder is being an asshole. It hurts so bad. My collarbone feels like it's on fire. I had super chubbies today. But not do that. My teeth will pop. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. If you liked it, go ahead and give her a like. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and you love my business. Uh, hit the bell if you don't want to miss anything. Because we never know what's coming on here. Right, guys? Um, I love you all. Thank you for sticking with me on this journey. And I hope to see you in the next part. <sighs> and I hope I... Um, Giving y'all some, like, a little bit of energy. I got a, I'm supposed to do my cleaning video that's coming out tomorrow because the new month is coming. So, watch for that so you know your new um, rotating tasks, monthly tasks, all that jazz. All right, this is going to be way too long. I love you. Stay safe and healthy. Clean up.